What's up, guys? Ace Man here. Welcome to the Diablo Research Institution. I am your host, Professor Ice Dak. I appreciate you guys for coming by. Like this video if you will. Subscribe to the page. And swat that bell so you're notified next time I post a video. And blessings to my channel members and patrons. Links in the description below. So what we have here now is a very interesting smiter slash 1.0 zeal paladin. In fact, the smite is one point as well. I only put one point in a smite. Check it out. So it's level 14 with my gear. Oh, that's holy shield. My bad. <laughs> so here's smite. Yeah, level 14 with a gear. All right, because in general, I feel like it's kind of a waste. I mean, if you're going to have a paladin, I like having the hybrid kind where you can zeal a bunch of enemies and then just smite the ubers. Because if you're going around zealing, or uh, smiting every single enemy, it's really painful. Just how damn slow it is. Check that out. You see how slow it is? One enemy at a time. You know, why not just use one point zeal instead and then at least you can kill stuff a little faster. Of course, with the current weapon that I have, which is black, it doesn't kill anything fast at all. But if you, for example, had a more common smiter weapon like Grief, you'd just be able to kill stuff a lot faster than you would using Smite for every single enemy. But as mentioned, this is kind of a budget slash really expensive hybrid build. I'll show you why in just a minute here. So it's using Black Flail. Thull Isle Neff. Uh, just for the purpose of doing Ubers and using a cheap item. Really, the only benefit we get here is the 40% chance of crushing blow. And the Flail has a very high base attack speed, which applies to your Smite. So there's that as well. But this is just an easy way to get 40% chance of crushing blow in a weapon. Uh, maybe I'd want to use something else in the future, like something with open wounds and crushing blow, if I can find one. But yeah, we'll see about that. So I have Drax, Grasp, 5% chance to cast level 10, Life Tap on Striking, and that's my only source of Life Tap here. Alright, 10 life stolen per hit, I don't think it applies towards Ubers, and it doesn't work with Smite either. 25% uh, chance of Open Wounds, which does work with Smite. Uh, so that's going to be very helpful. Let's see what my resists are. Can you see, is there a max bonus, 262... Difficulty penalty. Okay, so 266. So I have a lot of resist here, as you can see. I think. No? Okay, never mind. Okay, I don't know how to tell what your max resists are uh, beyond the cap. I think there might be a way. But nonetheless, okay. Drax for that reason. I have a Raven Frost. Kind of a waste, but I wanted some cannot be frozen. And I took off my G face from last video. And swapped it with something really cool. And I'll show you that in just a minute here. But I know you guys know what it is. Because it's probably in the damn thumbnail. Yeah, it's Crown of Ages. All right. But I'll show you in just a minute. So, Cold Absorb here. Some mana, some decks. Which helps the block, I guess. But block is maxed out anyway. So, that's fine. For Dungo's Hearty Cord. Mithril Coil. Belt. 10% faster hit recovery. Which is very important against Ubers. 40 Vitality. A nice replenish life. But primarily the reason for this belt, I think, is the physical damage received reduced by 15%. Wisp Projector, very expensive ring. Uh, very rare. And really the only benefit I get from it in fighting the Ubers is the Lightning Absorb, plus 20%. Goblin Toe, I could have went with Gore Riders, but uh, here's Goblin Toe instead, alright? Uh, I'm not going to try to go with Gore Riders next time, though. HOZ with an Umrune. Uh, you get some nice mods there. 20 strength, 20 vitality. All res plus 72, a ridiculous amount of resist. Because uh, I put an Umrun in there. Maras, uh, just because maybe something else would be more interesting. Uh, maybe I'll just use a High Lords or something for the IAS, see if that benefits at all. Duress, another uh, rather budget item here. Shale Ulthal. Shale Umthal. Um, 40 fast hit recovery, 50% chance of crushing blow, 33% chance of open wounds. Uh, some decent resists, so you get all that crap with it. Crown of Ages, of course. Corona, a freaking uh, style points. Classic vintage item. I remember this thing was even an original Diablo 1. I don't think it was all that good back in the day, but uh, here it is again in Diablo 2. Um, just an awesome item. 
And what I did is I put two ums in there. Because I, I just I just love the resist. I just capped that shit out. So one to all skills, 30 faster recovery, very nice faster recovery. Comes with a base of uh, 25 to 30 res all, I believe. And uh, physical damage received reduced by 15%. So yeah, this guy has a lot of damage reduction. So here he is, zealing about, but yeah, I'm gonna go back to using Smite. And check this out, I even have 69 skill points remaining. All right. Whoops, I have the wrong aura active, however. Okay, there's Fanaticism now. I maxed out Fanaticism. It's actually really slow. Not sure why it's so slow. Okay, I don't know why it's so slow, but uh, we're gonna try to fight the Ubers anyway. Like that. So yeah, as you guys know, it's not much of a budget build. Uh, there's some budget pieces in this. Uh, check it out for charms. I do have a torch. I do have an Annie. Uh, they're both perfect. Uh, a few all res small charms, only three, and then two combat skillers with life. So nothing too ridiculous about this build. Um, Crown of Ages, I just think, you know, it's a style points thing, but really you're better off using G-Face if you can get your res capped out. And check out my last video if you want to know why, because that helm was just awesome. Uh, especially if you put a charm ring in it. Okay, here we go. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, my. Okay. Okay. Okay, so he, he took me out pretty quick. Uh, the trick is getting your Drax to proc. Uh, you could use Life Tap Wand. Which is probably what you want to do. Look at this. I, I, you could almost kill him without it. Oh, he has it on him now. Bad timing. Oh, his lightning res is even maxed out. 37, so the res aren't even maxed out. I wasn't aware of that. Alright, let's keep going. Wow, the res weren't even maxed out. I'm surprised. Come on, there's the life tap. There's the life tap. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hmm. That wasn't good. Uh, yeah, ideally you'd probably want to split them up. And that's kind of where I messed up there. I didn't feel like splitting them up. Come on. No, 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 he's stuck. All right, he was stuck. Don't worry. Don't worry. No, 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 no. Oh, he's stuck again. Look at this. He's stuck in the damn house. Ooh, it's not looking good now. Come on, buddy. One health. Yeah, look at that. Just one... One little tiny incy weensy health. Got it. Not sure how well that's gonna suit me. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Alright, this might work. Yep. Cast that holy shield, uh, which fine. Fine, I'll max that out. All right, Holy Shield is now maxed out. Diving back in. Where are you at? There's Diablo. Uh, life tap is now cast. Hmm, quite nice. Oh, there's the problem. If you run out of mana, it's a bit of a problem. Uh, it would be good to have uh, some item with uh, mana returned uh, when you take damage. Like uh, Alder's Boots or uh, probably Carry On Ring is uh, probably what you'd want. Ooh, that's a good position. I think it's good to have Bail. If he knocks you back, you can uh, kind of get yourself against a wall. But it looks like that's not going to be a problem. Hmm. 
Looks like we got him. Got him. Where's Sanctuary? Oh, uh, let's see here. Do I have Sanctuary? Defensive? Which one is Sanctuary? There you are. Yeah, check this out. Check this out. Let's use the Sanctuary. Yep. Put on the Sanctuary. See that? Knocks him back. <laughs> Knocks them back. Uh, only the undead, of course. Oh! Three Necro skills. 19 all attributes. All res 12. So a hog. Uh, a hog of a torch right there. A very nice torch. Uh, so that's what we got for this video. And uh, I appreciate you guys. Thank you for all your support. Blessings to my channel members and patrons. And I will see you in my next video. Peace be with you.